Welcome back to Master Tech Miller. My name's Tommy, and in today's video, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Road Glide ST. I've literally just got it out of the box. It's right here behind me. So I'm gonna get it up on my bench, and we're gonna do a uh, first-hand walk-around uh, review, first impressions of uh, just what the bike is and what it looks like, what I think of it, and uh, just to give you guys a little bit of insight as well. Uh, for those who don't know what the bike is, uh, the Road Glide ST is basically a stripped down version of the uh, Road Glide Special. Uh, it has shorter bags and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, bigger engine, the 117 cubic inch engine. Uh, so yeah, let's get this thing up on the bench and uh, we'll go for a walk around and check it out. All right, let's get straight into it. It's um, straight out of the crate, so of course the the windshield uh, is not on there yet. Uh, the left-hand side cover is all it's in a bag, but it's just not on yet. So there's a few bits uh, and pieces that aren't on there. There's a lot of stickers all over it. So uh, this is straight out of the box. This is the first time I'm seeing the motorcycle. And uh, hopefully it's the first time you guys have seen the motorcycle as well. Obviously there's been uh, photos on the internet getting around, but uh, yeah, in first hand, this is uh, my, my first impressions. But I, straight off the bat, let's just get straight into it. I love the colour of the wheels. It matches in, well, the Harley have matched it in with the lower rocker cover here. And the uh, tank decal there, I'm not sure if you can see that. But uh, that is absolutely outstanding. Those wheels, rocker cover and tank badging are just amazing. I love the colour. Yep, sold on that 100%. Another tick from me is the 117 cubic inch engine. Of course, now that's up from uh, 114 cube from um, the normal baggers. And of course, we've got the, uh, the CBO style, uh, last year's CBO style heavy breather on there as well for that performance look, which looks great, suits, suits the theme of the bike. So yep, that's a tick there as well. Short bags. So uh, traditionally with your road glides and, and uh, street glide specials and that you have the the bag is sort of stretched, it comes down a little bit lower here and of course with the back end the bag sort of comes, wraps around the, the pipe here and, the, and there's a lower extension on this fender so you have sort of a slot that uh, your pipes fit through but uh, they've gone for this uh, obviously for uh, a bit more cornering clearance, I'm not sure, I don't know if I love the look, I do like the look of the stretched bags but uh, with these uh, performance style baggers a lot of guys do a two into one pipe, so this pipe's deleted, and this pipe normally is, well they are, some of them are long, but they can be shorter, so you're not left with a, um, a, a very uh, vacant looking back end here with the big holes for the pipes. So I can see why they've done that. I'm just not sure I like the look, but uh, performance wise, it's definitely a tick there. The seat looks great. I haven't actually sat on the bike or rode it yet, of course, but it looks great. Uh, how does this... oh, okay, so it's just like a uh, like a fat boy, just the two thumb screw uh, bolts there that take that off. But it looks great, suits the bike very well. Uh, sorry about the background noise, guys. It's um it's absolutely pouring in southeast Queensland at the moment, so hopefully you can hear me quite well. Apologies about the noise. Um, what else is new? Well, it's not really new, but uh, of course the console is uh, the sleeker console now, with just the filler cap on the right hand side, same. Uh, the infotainment system itself is still the same. Uh, Bluetooth, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that sort of stuff featured. The, the uh, stereo has been upgraded though um, to uh, Rockford Fosgate now, uh, in conjunction with Harley, so there's a little upgrade there. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, 117, love the colour, seat, bags, front fender, the front fender guys, uh, it's definitely a shorter chopped down looking fender, not sure, it looks like a fat boy one if I'm honest, just a slight little few changes, but yeah, definitely looks like a fat boy front fender, but yeah, I guess it goes with the, the performance style uh, theme of the bike, but I'm digging it. I think it's great. The only thing I'm not liking are these reflectors and this old school 
soft tail looking tail light. Not sure the way they didn't just do a, um, a combo LED brake tail turn signal on the on the back here like they normally do. This is a bit dated for me. Uh, yeah, not not a fan of that. Yeah, so all around, I'm pretty happy. I think it looks sick. I can't wait to ride it. This one's actually uh, sold. This is a customer bike, so I uh, won't be able to ride this one. But uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get my hands on one and ride one. Big tick for me. I'm gonna have to cut the video here, guys. The rain's getting pretty heavy. Uh, hopefully the noise isn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this one out. This is a little bit different from my normal videos, guys. Uh, if you're new here, I do a lot of engine uh, builds and uh, dyno tuning, so uh, check the rest of my stuff out if you're interested. But uh, thanks for watching this one, guys, and I'll see you again real soon.